All right, it is my personal favorite time of the week. It is Pet of the Week, and each week we have a local animal shelter bring the pet that's up for adoption and let you know ways that you can add that pet to your family. And we have a big surprise today because I know typically we have dogs, cats. Today we have a rabbit. We have Jennifer with San Diego. San Diego House, rabbit, House society. rabbit Society and you have brought in Elfie a rabbit and the reason why I enjoy that this is kind of switches things up is because we need to have to bring more awareness to the fact that there are so many other animals in need of adoption and fostering I'm not sure if you could foster mm -hmm. uh, rabbits but introduce this to Elfie this is Elfie he's two years old and he was found as a stray rabbit in Orange County and we brought him down here to our shelter in Kearney Mesa um, just like you said there are thousands of rabbits that are homeless, looking for new homes, and they are kind of an, a forgotten pet. Um, but they're just as social as dogs and cats, and they can have their own space as long as they're with the family, and they can be litter box trained too. And this is just to so the viewers aren't confused. There are wild rabbits, and then there are domestic yes. rabbits, and this one in particular is a domestic yes. rabbit. Yes. yes, and you even said that uh, it's that rabbits can be trained. Mm -hmm. uh, can be um, trained, right? To yeah. to um, litter box trained. Yeah, they can also um, live with the family. So a lot mm -hmm. of people live with them free roam, like dogs and cats mm -hmm. too. Yeah. What, so the maintenance. What's the level of maintenance? Are they high maintenance? Are they low maintenance? Are they good for kids? You think who want who aren't necessarily ready for a dog, but maybe um, one with less responsibilities? Or, or how, what do you think? I think they're right in the middle of a dog or cat. And okay. I think it's a family responsibility mm -hmm. rather than being a, a child's responsibility mm -hmm. because. Um, they are a little bit more fragile than dogs and cats, but they can be kind of robust because they can race around the home and be a part of the family and stuff too. I grew up with, I had two rabbits growing up, so I just, and I remember, I'll never forget, I tried to walk it. <laughs> they, they can't be walked. We have about 30 seconds. I don't but know they why. they can be just around too. She, exactly. She has a stroller. 20 seconds. Talk, us, talk to us really quick about the Bunny Fest you guys have going on. So we have an annual fundraiser called Bunny Fest. Mm -hmm. It's at Liberty Station with about 60 to 70 vendors there. We have food there too. And we go and raise about, we try to raise about $50,000 for all of their medical care at that fair. Oh, amazing. Okay, Jennifer, the information was right there on your screen, 10news.com. You can find more details. Thank you so much. Thank you.